this is my vlog and I started it just now because I just posted a story asking if you guys would want me to do vlogs and I'm getting messages that you do so I figured I would start it now I actually attempted to start it last week because I had a hunch that you guys might want to see the vlogs and then I just forgot to video and it made me realize like how much I like to keep to myself and like not share online so I feel like this is going to be pretty tough for me because I just like to be internal about things and like not have everything on camera and not have to like look a certain way all the time but it's just my own issues I need to overcome of like being a perfectionist and all that stuff like I didn't even want to start the vlogs because my skin has been so bad I'm wearing makeup now so you can't like see it that well but it's been so bad and it's something I've always struggled with and it really messes with my confidence so I haven't wanted to like be on video haven't posted a lot of videos lately because I, I don't want to be like fake and like edit it out so then I just wind up not posting anything because I just don't feel like I like look good or like am my best confident self so anyway what a great start to the vlog this morning I had a meeting on zoom and that's why I got ready and stuff and like put makeup on I usually work out in the morning which wakes me up but this morning the meeting was pretty early so I didn't work out before I'm probably just gonna get some activity later whether that's like going for a walk or I don't know something i try not to work out in makeup often because again it makes me break out yeah so i'm gonna do some other things that i need to get done run a few errands maybe do laundry i also am gonna get a spray tan later because my friends and i are having a party this weekend or it's not a party it's actually an award show called the best friends forever awards the bffas which is something we do every year and i'm so excited it's like one of my favorite nights of the year and it's this saturday so i'm getting a spray tan because why not i also got my eyebrows done this week i got them threaded that has helped a lot with my confidence like doing stuff like this when my skin isn't great so anyway yeah i'll be back later i guess okay errand number one is done i just went to cvs i needed like random things and it's so frustrating because i feel like they never have what i need so then i just have to like order it on amazon anyway but I did get a few things. I always like think it's gonna be cheap and then I wind up spending like $60 in CVS. It happens every time. So yeah, that just happened again. I'm so tired. Like I can't even open my eyes. I don't know what it is. I might have to get another coffee, which I try to keep it to one coffee a day or I get like really anxious and shaky. Oh God. This is my car by the way. Her name is Penelope. Oh my God. I got this car in 2021. I love her so much. She's a little hun high on day, Hyundai, however you say it. Yeah, so anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. Talk to you later. Okay, made it back from my errands, but I went to Michael's, got some frames, just put these two pictures that I had in the frames. So now I'm gonna figure out where I want to hang them um, in my place. And then I went to get gas, which is my least favorite thing to do in the whole world. But yeah, so I do live alone. I live in LA. I have my own place. I'm an only child, so I actually love living alone and just like having my own space. I used to have roommates and it was never like a problem, but just for what I do and like having to record vocals and like having to take videos and stuff, it's just so much nicer to live alone because then I'm never worried about like making too much noise or having other people's noise in my videos or my recordings and stuff like that. So it's just really nice to have my own space. I love the area I live in. I live really close to most of my friends, so it's pretty nice. I guess if you're watching this vlog, then you already kind of know about me, but I am 23 and I'm a songwriter and artist and I grew up just outside of Portland in a suburb. If you like look on my Wikipedia, a lot of people think I'm from New York because it says I was born on Long Island, which is true. I was born on Long Island because both my parents are from New York. So my mom is, her side of the family is Italian and my dad's side of the family is Jewish. So they both grew up in New York, spent their whole lives there. My mom kind of moved around with her family, but my dad grew up in New York on Long Island. My mom just decided that when she was pregnant with me, she didn't want to raise a kid there. And her dad at the time, 
was living in Oregon. So she decided to move us out there. So I don't remember living in New York at all because we moved to Oregon before I turned one even. And then my dad followed like two years later. So my parents are still there. My dad lives actually in Portland. My mom still lives in like the suburb because they're not together. If you've listened to my songs, then you probably know this already, but they're like good friends. They were never married. They were just together when they had me and then they went their separate ways. But for my whole life, they've been friends, which has been super nice. I moved to LA when I was 19. So I grew up my whole life in that town in Oregon. And after high school, I went to a school in Norway for a year, a music program there, which was super random. I'll have to explain that on another video. And then after that school, I moved to LA because I knew I wanted to do music. I was here for like six months before COVID. I was working an assistant job. And then when COVID hit, I went home and I wound up being home in Oregon for a long time, as we all know. And I was working remotely. And then I started posting on TikTok because I finally had time and none of my friends followed me there, and then the rest is history. I was really shy about like posting my music, so anyway. Long story short, now we're here. Yeah, I'll have to like get into any other stuff you guys like want to know, but for now, that's kind of the gist, so. Okay, I just hung this up in my bathroom <laughs> right above my toilet because why not? I bought it at like a farmer's market thing last week, and it's, of course, it's Paris, so I had to because it's so nice. I got one of the frames at Michael's, and it took me way too long just now to hang this. I had to retry like three times. This is my bathroom. Look how cute it is. So cute. I'm proud of myself. I made hot chocolate, wrote out those cards, and did a bunch of work on my computer. I worked on like putting together email that's gonna go out when people sign up for my mailing list. I had to order some stuff on Amazon and then I had some carrots and the bitchin' sauce, which is like one of my favorite snacks. Um, that sauce is from Whole Foods, it's so good. I'm literally so tired, but I'm just making myself go to the gym because I just know I'm gonna feel better after. So I'm gonna go to the gym. But yeah, so today is like a random off day. I normally have a session, like tomorrow is gonna be more of like a normal day. It's been a lot because this is Grammy week as well. So I had like a couple things I had to go to. Anyway, not a typical day. So I'll be back later. What's up guys? Day two of my vlog. I've already done so much this morning, but here's my thing. I am so late all the time. Like something about me, I don't know what it is. I'm always running late. Ugh, this stupid mirror is driving me insane. Always running late. And so then I just like either forget to video or just simply don't have time. So of course I'm rushing around this morning, which is just nothing new. Like that's my life every day. I just like sleep till the last minute or like wait till the last minute <laughs> to get going. And I really push my boundaries sometimes, push my limits. Um, but anyway, so I woke up, did like a little workout class on Zoom by my friend Courtney. She teaches these classes live on Friday and I love it because it keeps me accountable and I have to show up and you have to turn your camera on and whatever. And then I had coffee. I didn't even like have time to have coffee before, which is so sad. Had coffee, checked my phone, showered, got ready, had a call on Zoom at 11. Now I'm getting ready because I'm going to go walk to this place to get food for later because I have a session all day and I don't have any food that I can bring and I just know it's going to go late. So I got a spray tan last night and oh my god, my feet are orange. I already put makeup on so you can't see, but it was like really really orange but it's okay thank god for makeup i have a session today with my friend michael and this girl Haley warner who i've been a fan of for years so it's really cool that we're working together yeah i will be listening to ray's album in the car she's incredible and her debut album just came out today and i'm already obsessed after my session later we have sound check for the bffas which are tomorrow. I just love sound check. Like I love getting ready for a show. The energy of it all is my favorite thing. And I grew up doing dance and like always having shows and like doing the Nutcracker and stuff. And so I just am like forever obsessed with that energy and like all the prep that goes into it. So I'll also be practicing in the car on my drives because God knows I need to. I'm going with a ponytail today because I didn't wash my hair. I'm saving my 
hair wash for tomorrow before the big BFFA. So that's why we're going with the ponytail bag. Did I film it? No, you're you're in. No, it. <laughs> oh, what's up? We just wrote up a song. Uh, Are you doing it? Please. <laughs> it's not mine. Please, <laughs> we wrote a song here in this room. Yeah, and then maybe just a sharp cut. They're doing you for my vlog. Oh. <laughs> we got the kitchen crew. Yeah, making a pie for tomorrow. <laughs> And okay, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's my vlog. Hey. You were just doing sound check? Just about to do sound check here? Amazing. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come together. It might have took the long way. I knew we'd get there someday. just got home it's 11 I had such a great day today the session went so well honestly I didn't even think we would get a song because we were talking for so long and then we wound up writing a really amazing song pretty fast so it was so nice because we just had a great day and then also just as a bonus got a song yeah and then I went to sound check which went well um, with my friend Andreas, we're doing a duet, but it's a surprise. So um, yeah, and then I got home and I just unpacked a couple packages that came from Amazon. I'm gonna, see. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Um, I ordered these headbands. I'm really happy that they came because I was thinking about wearing one tomorrow, actually. It kind of isn't looking that great, but um, I'm not sure, but I do like it, so. That's a plus, but I'm really tired. It's been a long day, so I'm going to take my makeup off, brush my teeth, and then just go to bed. And I also made some tea, so I'm gonna drink that. And then, yeah, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow for BFFA day. What's up, guys? Day three of the vlog. It is 3.30 p.m. Also, you can see my spray tan, how blotchy it is, and also just like acne and acne scars, but Oh well, that's just life. I slept in, which was so nice, and then um, meditated, journaled, um, had coffee, did some work, talked to my dad for a while, made my dinner for tonight. So tonight's the BFFAs, and I'm vegan, and the dinner that they're serving isn't vegan, so I made my own, just like a salad with tofu in it um, that I'm gonna bring. So I did that, um, got ready, went to the gym, just did a quick little tread run and walk. Now I'm back. I just unpacked the package that I got. Um, it's this activewear that I got from a brand um, and it's so nice. I put it on now, actually. It's like this crop top and then they sent me like shorts as well. But now the madness begins. I'm going to start getting ready. I have a smoothie thing in the fridge I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna film some get ready with me as well. I get ready, I guess. It's gonna take me a while. The transition is gonna be crazy the transformation i mean is gonna be crazy i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna 
do my real makeup. It's gonna be a whole thing. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, just did my makeup for the BFFAs. And oh my God, I did a get ready with me on TikTok. And like, I don't know how content creators do it. It's so much to think about when you're getting ready. And I'm always in such a rush and like, oh my God, it takes so much energy. It's crazy. This is the look, I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. We're at the BFFAs. I'm here with Danny. Hi. And Andreas. And we're gonna get this show on the road. Yay. <laughs> that much right we didn't we weren't really raging like we used to right we felt really old this year right yeah. um it's like we're all catching up to Axel and Andreas so that's <laughs> good. great looking couples like I mentioned but a lot of single people in the house okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. like Haley we know we know you're single we, <laughs> we know <laughs> but tonight is a new year welcome to be at the base fourth year in a row best friends in the world let's go Hello. Wow. So I have the pleasure of introducing uh, the Secret Lover of the Year Award. So I know there's a lot of nervous people in the crowd right now. <laughs> the nominees are <laughs> Haley for Paris Boy. <laughs> Cam for. BFFAs. I just like couldn't even be on camera this morning. I needed to like put on something to make myself feel better. So I put on a little bit of makeup. Um, so tired. So tired. 
but it was the best night ever. I'm forcing myself to just take today off and do absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to be watching the Grammys, which are on today. Um, but it was just so fun. It's actually my favorite night of the year and it didn't disappoint. It was the best night being with my friends. I won promoter of the year and shit show of the year. So there you go. But yeah, the categories were so fun. We danced, we laughed, we cried, we did everything in between. Um, but yeah, I feel like all my vlogs from here are gonna go downhill because that was just simply the best way to start off my vlogging era. I'm gonna try to edit this vlog today and do some other work that I have to do and just watch the Grammys and get ready for the week. But thanks for watching you guys and I'll be back soon.